Hey everyone, tonight I'm going to go over the Easy Flash 4 cart and I'm going to show you how to convert your Game Boy Color games into a Game Boy Advance format so that you can drop that into your Easy Flash program and easily play that on your Game Boy Advance. So, we've already got everything set up here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Goomba Front. It's a program that I use. It is far from perfect. It is incomplete. Uh, it will never be complete as far as I know, but it does work it has some issues with your save state what you have to do is you have to actually do save SRAM well if you toy with it you can figure it out but this is a good program and it will compile your Game Boy Color ROMs and they will look fairly pretty so alright we've already got a list here boom 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 we got Dragon Warrior, Oracle of Ages, Mega Man X, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold easy enough stuff alright so the first thing we're gonna do we're going to compile easy We've already got that compiled now. Let's see. We'll open up. Go to games. Shh. Making a video. Shush, kitty. Shush, 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 shush. All right. So we're going to go to Distracted by Kitty, Game Boy Advance Converters, and Goomba Front Color. All right. Here. Let's see. Should be this file right here. We'll test it. Unsupported BIOS function. And I've had to do this video probably seven times over tonight till I finally found a good program suggested to me. Thank you, Monkey of Darkness. You are awesome. Because my other program was not working. So that's probably why we're seeing, oh, you know, let's see. One, two, three. Well, a good three copies of the games in here. No worries, though. We see it did flash, and that will work just fine. So we're going to copy and we're gonna paste that on the desktop awesome uh... we don't need to rename it now because when we add it to the actual Game Boy Advance cartridge we can go ahead and rename it there let's see I'll worry about showing y'all how to do Sega Master System games and Super Nintendo games another time we're just gonna go ahead and knock out this one right now so next we're gonna open up Easy4 Client 1.03 and we'll go ahead and we'll open up the ROM Goomba.GBA We'll name this test Game Boy Color 2 GBA. I'm unsure with save types, so I always stick to SRAM. I, I don't know, it's just what I'm comfortable with. If you've got some better advice or other of the save types have worked better for you, please leave your comments below and I'll go ahead and I will I'll listen to them. I'll respond individually and you know hopefully they will help me out for my own individual needs in the future. But it can also help out your other fellow gamers that are going to be looking at this video too. So, let's go ahead, we've named it, and we will send it to the cart. While that sends, I'm going to have a drink of my Dragon Ball Z soda. By the time I finish this video, this soda is going to be flat because I'm not going to work on it until the morning because it is almost midnight here in Japan. Alright, so as we see, we flashed that, no problem. Next thing we want to do, we want to ensure it is properly on there. I can't believe I have 1.2 gigs. Okay. Anywho, let's see. Test Game Boy Color 2 Game Boy Advance GBA. So that should be working no problem. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this video. Thank you, Spike, for keeping such a beautiful background while we've been doing this. And thanks to the cat for finally going to sleep. All right, when I come back, it will be on my tablet. I'll be showing my modded Game Boy, and I'll actually pull up the ROM, show how it works, mess with the save file a little bit, show you guys how that works. And if you have any further questions, please, you know, comment, link, subscribe like thumbs up thumbs down tell me you hate me i don't really care just enjoy the videos it's always about the video games all right see you in the next video